my name is Whitney and welcome to my channel. I'm so happy you stopped by. Here on Perfected Imperfection, I share my thoughts with you on things like makeup, fashion, and lifestyle topics. I also do reviews and tutorials, so if that sounds fun to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon. I would super appreciate it. Today, we are going to be discussing a bunch of pumpkin products. So let's get started. Fall is my absolute favorite season. I love pumpkin everything. Yes, I am one of those people and I don't care who knows it. Call me basic, call me whatever you'd like. I will be over here living my best pumpkin loving life. To gear up for today's video, I have on my pumpkin spice shirt from Shop Local Kentucky located here in Lexington, Kentucky. They have super cute shirts, so make sure you go check out their website. Of course, I will leave the link down below. If you are like me, you are over winter already and are longing for fall. So that is why I decided to buy a bunch of makeup products that are pumpkin related and some skincare items as well. Let's get to checking out all these pumpkin products. Today, I am barefaced for the first time on my channel, and that is because I have some skincare items, makeup brushes, and sponges to test out. I just got finished using the Yenza Pumpkin Turmeric Radiance Polishing Face Mask and the Sephora Pumpkin Face Mask. So I am going to be posting a video over on my Instagram that shows myself using these products. So definitely check that out after this video and I will be doing a giveaway over there. So make sure you follow me over on Instagram for all of the details on this giveaway and all future ones to come. And spoilers, I will be showcasing the items that I'm going to be giving away later on in this video. The Yenza Pumpkin Turmeric Radiance Polishing Face Mask retails for $45. I was lucky enough to get it in my BoxyCharm box. And then the Sephora Pumpkin Face Mask retails for $5.50. Um, so the Yenza Pumpkin Turmeric Radiance Polishing Face Mask, mouthful to say, um, I loved it. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but it definitely made my skin um, have that glow effect and I am obsessed. It smells amazing. Think of like a Starbucks pumpkin spice chai tea latte and that is how this smells. So it was really, really nice experience putting it on the face and then washing it off and just, uh, it just made my skin feel rejuvenated. So I do highly recommend that product. Now for like future results, I'll have to keep using this and I will let you know if it keeps doing a great job. The Sephora pumpkin face mask, it was interesting. Um, it didn't look cute. So when I opened it up, I expected it to be like a cute little pumpkin or you know, have like little pumpkins on the cheek or something like that but it didn't. It was just boring and plain and just looked like any normal sheet mask. So that was a little disappointing and it did not at all smell like pumpkin. So I buy pumpkin things because I kind of want them to smell like pumpkin <laughs> and it just didn't at all. It was a weird smell. It kind of smelled like florally sweet, which was weird and I didn't like that. Now, despite the smell, the face mask, when I put it on and I was using it, um, it had this cooling effect that was awesome. So I did like that. Um, it kept cooling my face and I, it just felt so good. Uh, and then when I took it off, you know, you pat the rest of the uh, serum into your face. And again, my face looks so beautiful. So uh, I, 50% recommend that one, maybe. <laughs> okay, so the next product we're going to be talking about is the um, Mini Pumpkin Infused Sponge Set from Sephora. I 
was intrigued by this product, okay? When I first saw it on their website, I was like, ooh, pumpkin infused. You know, the basic in me called to it. I was like, oh, I must have it. It sounds amazing. And then I got it. And I'm like, okay. First impressions, <laughs> interesting, okay? So this brighter orange sponge is the weirdest shape I have ever seen a sponge. So it's completely flat on the bottom. And then like, it's kind of rounded like Hey Arnold's head. Um, and I don't, I don't even know like, what am I supposed to use this for? Like it makes zero sense at all. But I mean, hey, maybe I'll use it and it's gonna be the best sponge of my whole life. I don't know yet, but first impressions, like what were you thinking, Sephora? Like I'm just confused. Um, and it's really firm, like there's not a whole lot of give in these sponges. So let's talk about the other one. Um, it looks better, maybe a little more functional, but it's still like flat on one side, which I mean I do like for um, like baking powder and stuff. Um, but then, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I would love to know what your thoughts. Did you see these products too and you were like, oh, this sounds amazing. I need to get it. Just let me know. Um, but we'll try these out and, you know, we shall see. All right, next, keeping along in the Sephora theme, we have the Sephora Mini Pumpkin Infused Brush Set. That retails for $18. And, and again, the website, super excited, blah, 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 whatever. And, and then I get them. And I'm, I'm not as excited. Okay, I know they said mini. Like, okay, don't come for me. I can read. They said mini. But I didn't expect them to be like super mini. I don't know. Whatever, don't judge me. Um, so we have a foundation brush, a concealer brush, and then I have two um, eyeshadow brushes in here. Now, on this box, the packaging, it does have a little more information. So I'm going to read you the claims of what makes pumpkin infused things so great. It says pumpkin powder is believed to help lock in moisture to keep your skin glowing. That's all it says. And that sounds amazing, right? So again, we shall see. It does say these brushes are vegan and they are really soft. So I do like that. Um, but again, we will check these out and I will give you my thoughts. Now we are on to the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Warm and Spicy Eyeshadow Palette that retails for $49. First of all, packaging, A plus. It's so cute. Uh, I love the pink and like orange together. I wouldn't have pictured that myself, but it works out so pretty and I am obsessed. So let's look at the palette. It comes in a tin case which I think is really cool. That way, if you're like a collector, like, I don't know, it just makes it something special. Um, so yeah, I really like that it's in the tin case. And then it does come with a mirror and the colors in here are just gorgeous. I love all of them. We can definitely create some great fun fall looks with this. And the most important part. We're gonna do the smell test, okay? Because it's supposed to smell like pumpkin. So let's see. Okay, so it's giving me pumpkin slash mixed with like Crayola, maybe? 
but mainly pumpkin, you know, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. It's just not the greatest, but it's not terrible. So yeah. I can't wait to play with all of these though. Um, it has been a hot minute since I have used eyeshadow from Too Faced. Uh, the last eyeshadow palette that I used from Too Faced was that, um, that the unicorn one, I think it's called Don't Stop Believing or Dreaming or something like that. And I literally liked one color out of it. And I was like, oh, cool. I bought a whole eyeshadow palette for one color. So we're going to give them a second chance and we are going to see how this one turns out. And more Too Faced products. We have the Too Faced Melted Matte Pumpkin Spice Liquid Lipstick. Again, packaging, super cute. I love how it has like little pieces of pumpkin pie on the uh, top. It's just so precious. And we also have the Too Faced Liquid Injection Plump and Tasty Trio. This one is in um, the pumpkin pie. It comes in a set for $25. This is the whole set if you are interested. It also has the original and sugar cookie, but we're focusing on pumpkin. So um, I'm going to open both of these up and smell them. But as far as the color goes, I love the shade that this uh, pumpkin spice is in. Okay, this is what I want when I smell pumpkin. It definitely smells like pumpkin pie for sure. It has that like little spice to it, you know? And this lip injection extreme, it, it looks so beautiful. Definitely is gonna go great with this lipstick. It has gold reflex in there and oh, I can't wait to try it out too. Um, but let me see what it smells like. It smells similar to the liquid lipstick, but kind of like with the vanilla. So that's interesting, but I'm not mad at it. I don't hate it. It smells really good. So I have never used the lip injection gloss from Too Faced. I'm a little nervous because <laughs> I've watched a bunch of videos and stuff where people have used these products and they say that their lips are tingling and like kind of on fire and they sting. And so I'm like, oh, do I want to do that? But then I'm curious though, more so to see like if it actually does like a plumping effect. So we shall find out. All right, I have a ton of goodies to test out. So I will be back and I will give you my final thoughts. Maybe you're tired of the waves that come and knock you off your feet. I'd long to see you on a day when you won't drown. The constant dragging and deceit, your hands been tied in there to greet a life that's bounded to a world that keeps on taking every day. Tired of the strains, the lonely highs, the constant rains that seep right through you on the days you're coming down. Maybe relying on horizons where the skies they fill with diamonds ain't surprising that the love that you have lost is in your mind. We go, we'll take the high. Maybe you're tired of the waves that come and knock you off your feet I'd long to see you on a day when you won't drown Maybe the answer lies beneath these scattered words They flood our streets and now the lights without the power flicker on into the night we go, we'll take the high Alright y'all, I'm back. This is my finished look. And it was a journey. So let me take y'all on this journey. Okay. 
Let's start with these sponges. No. No. They're on sale right now. Don't even waste. Don't do it. Don't. Don't do it. I don't care how great pumpkin infused sponges sound. Don't do it. So I use the sponges on this side of my face. And then I use the mini brushes on this side of my face when I apply my foundation and concealer. And I don't know if you can super tell because I have all these lights on me and stuff, but this side looks like trash. <laughs> um, I don't typically use sponges anyway when I apply foundation. Most of the time, you know, they soak up the foundation and they, yes, it looks like your skin, cool, great. But I have a lot of perfect imperfections and um, I like a little full coverage look when I use foundation. Um, so this, this is not what I want. Uh, the brushes were a little bit better. Just a teeny weeny. Like I, I actually, you know, this foundation brush was pretty okay. Cool. But the other three were not. So to get one little brush that was okay, just don't do it. I'm done. I'm not talking about those anymore because as my husband would say, I'm gonna get hot in the biscuit, okay? And I don't, I don't wanna do that. So we're gonna move on. Um, <laughs> then I have the Pumpkin Spice Too Faced Palette. And it's not like it was bad, but it's not like it was good. <laughs> um, I use the shade, <sighs> okay, okay. I used a lot of shades because, <laughs> so at first I used the shade Whipped Cream. Um, which was just like on like the upper part of my eye and then I used pumpkin spice in the crease That was a great beautiful beautiful color and Then on the outer and inner corner of my eye. I used spice spice baby and um, It doesn't look like how it does in the pan it was a little more brown tone um, but still a pretty color okay and then I wanted to use this sparkly fall vibes um, I wanted to kind of do like a halo look so I put it all on the middle of my eye sounded really great but then near my brow like there was this space and I was like well I want to put something there and in the pan this shade called Falling For You looks more golden. When I put it on, it looks silver. And that looked dumb. <laughs> so then, I didn't want to take all this off and do it again. Like, I'm kind of lazy. Um, <laughs> so I was like, oh God, this looks terrible. What can I do to attempt to fix this? And of course my solution is let's plop on more eyeshadow. Um, so then I attempted to put more whipped cream back over it to see if it would like dull it down and make it not look super terrible. And it didn't. And so then I put <laughs> Sweetie Pie over it. And this is what I look like. So yeah, that's my journey with this palette. Uh, I got it to a point where I don't hate it, but I don't love it, too. But the palette itself, like, let's talk about that. Uh, the shades are really pigmented, so, woo, A+. Uh, there is a lot of fallout in the pan, and there was fallout on my face, but that's why I put uh, powders on under my eyes to catch all that. Um, just a side note. I did use the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. I figured I had a lot of Too Faced products, so let's try this out too. 
Um, I liked it. But the palette was just... It was okay. I wanted it to be better. And the shimmer shade that I have on my middle of my lid, the Fall Vibes, it was super chunky. Like, super, super chunky glitter. Um, I really had to dig my brush in there to even get it to like look like this so <sighs> as of filming this video I believe this palette is also on sale I recommend at the sale price I don't recommend at the full price we'll leave it at that the melted matte lipstick um, I love this yay a win uh, I love this color on me um, the formula is really great it was super soft going on again I love the smell of this and it dried down relatively quick but it didn't like most matte lipsticks matte liquid lipsticks you know they make your lips feel dry and gross and full um, but this one didn't so wow I liked it thank goodness um, the lip injection gloss that came in the trio pack. I love this shade. It's a beautiful, beautiful shade and it goes so great with this lipstick. The downside is it's the lip injection extreme. And let me know in the comments down below, do my lips look bigger? What do you think? I do not think they do. Um, but it definitely tingled. So <laughs> I put it on and I didn't feel anything. And I was like, oh, why are people complaining? Like, I don't feel anything. Boy, oh boy. About three minutes later, and I can still kind of feel it. So maybe I'm talking funny. I don't even know. But, um... It's kind of like a thousand little like needles are like piercing your lips. So that's fun. Um, <laughs> so make this, but not in this formula. That would be amazing. But yeah, that's all my products. As a person, who loves pumpkin? I was hoping for just a little bit more, but here we are, and that's fine. I still love fall, and it's okay. Well, this video has been interesting to make. Uh, most of my videos are a little bit more fun, but hey, that's all right. We live and we learn, and now you know what to not buy, because I had to go through this journey, so. <laughs> um, but going through all of these pumpkin products uh, made me want to share with you all my favorite fall time candle. Um, it is the Pumpkin Praline Waffles from the Candleberry Company in Frankfort, Kentucky. It smells like pumpkin pie, sugared pecans, and maple covered waffles all wrapped up into one amazing candle. It's so good. Don't forget to check out my video on Instagram and check out all the giveaway details. I am going to be giving away this eyeshadow palette from Ace Beauty in Scarlet Dusk, which retails for $34.99. And I am giving away the Real Her I am amazing 24 hour eyeliner, which retails for $16. Uh, so you can create a fall inspired look as well. Hopefully better than mine. <laughs> well, that wraps up today's video. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me on my channel today. If you liked this video, you can let me know by hitting that like button. And if you want to continue to hang out with me, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon and turn on all your notifications so you will know as soon as my next video drops. Most importantly though, always remember, imperfection is beauty. 
Madness is genius, and it's better to be absolutely ridiculous than absolutely boring. Bye, y'all.